one of the older forms, the original forms of Tai Chi. As I said earlier, Tai Chi has changed from how it once was conceived as strictly a combative martial art, a general art, so to speak. And this 108 form is a reflection of the general art. Uh, and then we'll see how that kind of flows into another softer, flowing aspect of the as train of Tai Chi. And then he'll do some improv on some of the different schools of Tai Chi that Master Rover knows. He has a very extensive background, so you never know when he may decide to pull out. I'll try to flow along with it. He's about to keep up. <laughs> so I know we're starting at 108 in the general's form in Qin Zhao Lo, back, way back when it's Ming Dynasty 1700s. <laughs> so even portion of Qin Bu. Right, before that. <laughs> <laughs> Yang Zi This particular breathing method is Dao Yin breathing method. And Dao Yin breathing methods predate Tai Chi practice. This particular breathing method enhances lung function and all of the major internal organs goal is to settle and sink the chi deep into the body and then to open and expand and drive the chi out into the limbs. Enhancing blood flow and chi circulation. another school of Tai Chi, the Wudong School, which is the school that started the story about the snake and the crane. You notice that there's a shift in how the movements are done, the way the energy is expressed. And these are all various expressions of yin and yang and Tai Chi principles.
see your beautiful demonstration of young style, so I won't do that. <laughs> you can be my teacher friend. <laughs> Got it? I got it, I got it. Hey, y'all, who's that? 